Hey, what's up guys? Node Investor here. Want to bring a quick update on BTC primarily, mostly red across the board. The markets continue their drift lower. We saw Bitcoin breaking a key near-term support level here yesterday. And so far it's just been these lower high bounces and really just setting up these little short entries. Haven't done a whole lot of trades to the long side, but you can see the moving average here, the 10 EMA, the 22 EMA. Prices are still trading below. Again, here we're seeing a bounce as I record this after finding a little bit of a near-term low around that 3340 level, bouncing right into those moving averages. And so sellers remain in control. The overall trend is still very much downward on the daily chart, on the weekly chart, and even on this four-hour view right now. And so until prices can show that they have a solid low in, you got to give the benefit of the doubt to the sellers. The bears remain in control right now, even in the near term. What I'm going to be looking for is if we drop lower below this near term low that was set around 3340, then somewhere around that 3220 down to the lows that we saw on December 15th at 3130, it's going to be that area to be watching for a potential double bottom test, potential higher low on that daily chart, weekly chart. That's going to be the next major support level. And of course, on the upside, till the bulls can show some renewed strength, I will remain cautious. So what I'm going to be looking for is a close back above one of the moving averages and then ultimately getting back through that 3480 level that broke down here yesterday. And so if we zoom in here, you can see that was really a key level that had held even on an intraday basis that we saw some wicks below, but had closed above this for quite some time. And then we saw that break yes on Monday yesterday. And so getting back above that will be important, getting the buyers to begin showing some more strength. If we pull up some of the indicators here, you can see RSI is just coming off the lows, MACD is still in the red, ticking higher. But all this is really doing is just allowing this oversold condition to have a little bit of a relief rally, which is potentially setting up another leg lower. We're seeing that here on the MACD as well. And so looking for that tick into the green potentially a top being set and then another leg down. So just keep that in mind right now, the sellers are in control, giving them benefit of the doubts. There are a few names, not too many that are holding up well, but for the most part, everything is looking pretty rough out there. And so it's just a game of patience unless you're playing these quick trades to the downside, but even the short side hasn't been a lot of momentum yet to the downside. Took a quick short on this bounce, covered that into this, the weakness here. So just really small, tiny trades really not a whole lot to be done here other than just kind of waiting this out let's take a quick look at the coin market cap so looking at the big picture over the last year and especially these last couple of months broader picture slide downward continues we did find that low just above that hundred billion dollar mark here in middle december and small small rally but have lately just been drifting lower and so here we are back to that 113 billion dollar mark retesting those December lows. And looking at the Bitcoin dominance, edging up slightly, but still very much in that same range right now, ticking up to just above 53% as ETH continues to drop, Ripple continues to drop, and a handful of the alts are edging up slightly, some of the smaller caps, but the bigger caps, which have the most weighting when it comes to this BTC dominance, continue to lose ground versus Bitcoin. So to cycle through some of those names quickly, you can see Ethereum here. This is ETH versus BTC. After that pretty big drop we saw here over the last couple of days, seeing a little bit of a bounce, but right now just looking a little bit of a bear flag type of pattern as it bounces into these moving averages, which is also a near-term resistance level. And so that's gonna be the level to be watching here in the near term on the ETH BTC pair. Looking at Ripple, again, the downtrend continues. Big slide here over the last couple of days bouncing right now kind of forming a little bit of a symmetrical pattern more of a bear penance if you ask me again still below these moving averages and until this picture begins to turn i will remain cautious and expect some more downside testing the trend is your friend and in this case the trend is downward so it's best to not to try to catch those falling knives as they say and wait for this thing to settle out and begin forming a little bit of a low if you look at the big picture this downward trend has been in place since that top here in December, late December around that 24th dates and still keeping an eye on Litecoin, but until BTC shows a little bit more strength, I'm not inclined to take any trades of the long side on the alts. There's always gonna be something moving. We were seeing some even today, Link had a pretty good day. There's a handful of small cap names, but for the most part, the correlation is just so strong that if Bitcoin continues to remain under pressure along with some of these larger cap names, you can expect that most other names will have that 
downward pressure and so a lot of these moves higher will fail but looking at litecoin it is rounding out a little bit of a base it looked like it was putting in a good handle yesterday seeing some support coming in and it's still looking pretty good it's on my radar but i'm going to be rain patient i'm going to wait until this market can start to show a little bit of a renewed strength but litecoin is certainly setting out for a potential breakout here and finally, true USD. Now this is an inverse to BTC essentially. So it gives you an alternate point of view, a different perspective on things. So it basically is the flip of what Bitcoin dollar, Bitcoin USD tether looks like, true USD, however you want to look at it. And when you look at it from this perspective, this chart looks like it wants to go higher. If you look at this little sending triangle base that it had, broke out as, B as Bitcoin broke lower, pausing to these moving averages, rallies again, pulls back to these moving averages. And so, this provides a different perspective it's real interesting if i was looking to go long on something like this look at the, these charts then you'd be looking at these pullbacks at potential secondary entries and so you take the inverse of that the flip side of that means these bounces that you see in the btc chart are potential sell rallies potential entries that i look to make some short entries if i'm looking to trade from that perspective so just a different point of view a different way of looking at it but if you look at the volume patterns if you look at some of the consolidation the moving averages all that this tells me it potentially wants to go higher which means unfortunately bitcoin looks like it may want to go lower so i will be looking at both of these if this begins to break lower and show that it's a failed breakout that means bitcoin will be rallying and that will be positive all around for the market so until this picture changes just got to remain patient wait this one out see how this pretend this double bottom test of the December lows plays out and we'll go from there so just wanted to bring that quick update guys thanks for being here today as always I appreciate you guys we'll see you all in the next one until next time take care everyone